that when God bless me, God bless you. Every time God bless you, God bless me. Every time one is blessed, I pray that another is blessed. Can we do that? Can we come in agreement right now? Whatever you need, God has it. And we're going to believe God for one another. We are workers, one another. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. And amen. God bless you. you may be seated. We're going to go quickly and get into the Word. I think that 2016, we need to emphasize love. Somebody said love. Love. When the Bible describes God, one of its greatest descriptions is that He is love. That sums it up. God is love. Say that with me. God is love. God is love. And within those parameters, we want to realize that the love of God, the Bible says, is shed abroad through our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So it takes the Spirit of God enabling us to love the way we should love. Do not think of love as a fuzzy feeling. Think of, think of love as being something put into action. The Bible said that you can you can you can have faith that can remove mountains. But if you don't have love, that's the Bible. The Bible said you just like a tinkling cymbal and a sounding brass. You're like Hitting on the drum. Just a noise. He compares love to being greater than faith. Y'all always remember that. There are three graces. The first grace is that of faith. He said, now abide faith, hope, and charity. Those three are graces. What is grace? Grace is a divine influence on your heart where that you receive favor from God that you didn't merit. We're going to have to learn that. But God, grace is upon your life. He divinely influences your heart. God's grace is not a free pass. Some people teach grace. They're really talking about mercy. They're, they're calling it the definition for grace. Amen. But when God divine, divinely influences your heart, you have to have the grace of God working in your heart to do things for God. So, 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 now by the faith, hope, charity, or love, and charity is the greatest of those three. That's what the Bible says. You must have faith because it's impossible to please God without faith. But if, even if you had the faith to remove the mountain, but didn't have the love, he said, you're nothing. We're nothing. So we're about, to, we're about to emphasize love this year. Come on, I'm telling you, we're about to emphasize it. We're going to have to love one another. I'm not talking about saying I love you. I'm talking, I'm talking about loving one another. And, and, and to love one another, I want you to listen to the Spirit of God. When God's speaking, he'll tell you things. He'll give you, he'll give you things to say to people. You know, you don't have to have a lot of training and college and degrees to speak a kind word. Uh, you don't have to have a, a symposium to learn how to talk nice to one another. Because the grace of God and the love of God will be shed abroad in our hearts. God can divinely influence your heart. We need to stop saying, you know, that's just me. You just being you gonna give you this job. Because he said, take on the mind of Christ. We need to begin to think like Christ. How about what Christ do in a situation that like what we're in? Now before I get started, I want my son to come up, my oldest son to come up right quick. Come on up, lad. Uh, uh, David Jr. Where you come but this is my eldest son. Come on, he's, a, he's also a minister of the gospel. Right? And I want him to just speak to you for a second. I didn't tell him how I was going to do this. He's going, to, he's going back home today. Say some words right quick. Amen. Amen. I 
just want to thank God for being here today. Yeah. You know, I had another, a, a setback uh, the weekend before Christmas. Um, called myself on sneak into the hospital to just let the ER check on me. But, you know, some of my levels. I was surprised that my blood pressure was like 190, 147 over 97, which is not that high. And so I thought they just balanced me out and keep me out in time to go to work. But um, um, Sunday morning, a doctor came in and he told me I suffered a, a, another stroke. Mm. I said, when? You know, because I didn't lose any abilities. Um, thank God. And he said within the last 48 hours. So I said, okay. And come to find out it was my sugar levels mm. that were going out of whack. Um, my sugar level was over 400. Mm -hmm. And uh, my AC1, people didn't know what AC1 is, mm -hmm. it was 13. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be around 7. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, they did work on me. <laughs> Thank God they let me out on Christmas Day. Like you said it, amen. Yeah. 